massive pileup south of Montreal has left dozens of people injured. About 200 vehicles were involved. CBC's Matt Demore is in Montreal with the latest. Uh, what can you tell us at this point, Matt? Well, we just got an update from provincial police and the firefighters on the scene. And as you said, 200 vehicles involved in this massive pileup on Highway 15 uh, just outside of Montreal. And we're told that there are still 75 vehicles uh, in the in the scene that need to be towed and removed from here. Uh, but we were told that there are still actually two people who were involved in this pileup who are still stuck in their vehicles and uh, provincial police are worried here they're saying they do fear for these people's lives because their uh, injuries are apparently serious and the the firefighters are using the jaws of life to try to get these people out of the vehicle so the clock is ticking and they are trying uh, to get those people out we've also been told that a tanker that was carrying diesel was involved in this pileup and that it is leaking diesel and they're trying to deal with that situation as well and this pileup happened hours ago. Uh, some people who were able to escape, they've been rushed to hospital. How are local hospitals dealing with the situation? Well, there is obviously an influx of people who are going to these hospitals, and we've heard of three area hospitals that have declared a code orange, basically measures that were put in place uh, when these calls came in so that the hospitals are ready for serious emergency situations. We're told overall that uh, 15 people were transported by ambulance uh, from this scene, but we're hearing about 60 people uh, overall may have suffered minor injuries, but there are some more serious injuries. One question we also had for police, we saw that there was a school bus that was involved in this pileup and police did confirm that there were kids in that vehicle but they're saying that none of them were injured again none of the children on that school bus were injured uh, but the area hospitals are dealing with an influx of people right now as uh, provincial police keep trying to clean up this situation yeah and trying to figure out a cause here will take some time i can understand matt but are they talking about the weather playing a role in this at least there is no confirmation of exactly what caused this, but obviously uh, provincial police said that people on the scene talked about whiteout conditions uh, at the moment where this happened. Uh, there were high winds and even just driving over here, there were a lot of situations where the wind picked up and kicked up a lot of snow and made visibility uh, a little bit more difficult. So that could have been a factor. Police are obviously looking into that and they do have specialists on the scene who are trying to unravel exactly what led to this right now. Okay, appreciate this update, Matt. CBC's Matt Demore live in Montreal. The most seriously injured were taken directly to hospitals, but about 150 other people who were involved in the pileup were taken to a community center in La Prairie. Now, Andrew, there are medical crews that were sent to the center as well. Yes, Masumi, this was being used as a form of triage for those with minor injuries, particularly looking at things from lacerations to those that were trying to get out of their cars and su suffered muscular fatigue, but the vast majority here coming to be treated for shock. Now, there were several dozen that were here and families came to meet, pick them up. Vast majority at this point have left. The ambulances are gone, as are the tow trucks that brought some of the cars here that could be moved and weren't too heavily damaged. Now, when looking around, the amount of people that were here at one point, there was at least a, over 100. The city had took, had took charge to bring these people here following the crash, setting it up to help uh, in also using it as a way of getting families to be able to meet people rather than it being on such a uh, busy and very difficult place to get to. Now, at this point, most people are gone. The vast majority, as I've said, there are a few people still inside that are having some difficulties finding places to go. But everyone that has been treated at this makeshift triage has largely been able to be discharged and have been either sent home or with friends and family. Thank you very much. And officials have confirmed two people are dead and several others have serious injuries after a multi-vehicle collision on a highway in a Montreal suburb. About 200 vehicles involved, including trucks and at least one school bus. Drivers said there were strong wind and blowing snow at the time, so little to no visibility. Ambulances rushed dozens of people to hospital, while buses transport about 150 others off-site. That highway still closed in both directions.